Hi, welcome back to Go Together Go Far. On today's video, we're going to put a new TV in my travel trailer. Mine didn't happen to come with one because I bought it used and the prior owners had taken it out. So if you're thinking about replacing your TV, getting a better one or upgrading or swapping one out, and you don't know how to do this, make sure you watch to the end and I'll show you how I did it and uh, hopefully we all learn something. Stay with me. So first thing you need to do is make sure you understand how big of a space you have. Uh, so measure it out and remember TV distances are actually measured on the diagonal. So this space here, I'm going to call it, I have about 48 inches. So this thing can accommodate a, like a flat screen up to about 48 inches. I happen to buy a 43 inch. Let's go ahead and do the unboxing on that. All right. So the TV I went with was a 43 inch Toshiba. Uh, I went with this one uh, it, primarily because there was a deal going on uh, for one. It does the 4K, it's got Wi-Fi, you know, uh, the Fire TV, the Amazon Fire TV built into it. So we don't need to add on any of that kind of stuff. So it's already here. This is not a ruggedized TV. Uh, I know like Jensen and, and some other companies make ruggedized TVs that are for outdoor use. I did not get that. So when I winterize in the winter, I will generally be taking this off and bringing this inside. So let's go ahead and unbox this thing. We got some legs. You won't need these because we're hanging those on the wall. We'll set those aside. We got your remote. Here you go, Arch. Hold on to that. Okay. And let's take this. I'm going to put it on right there. Alright. Alright, let's go ahead and take this TV out. Okay, so take a quick look at your uh, inputs here. So I have the normal yellow, red, and white input. Uh, there we go. I have cable. And then on the side here, I have a bunch of HDMI inputs. Um, and then so make sure you look at what your trailer has. Mine happens to have um, you know, cable. And if you can see up there, I got the, uh, the, the three component inputs. Uh, for the DVD player that it, that it comes with. So that's what I'll actually be using on mine. But now that I've unboxed this thing, I'm realizing this thing did not come with any cables. Uh, so I'm going to have to go locate some. But the truth is, just like probably most of you, we all have tons of cables from old, uh, old equipment in our basement anyway. So I have plenty of these. All right. So next thing you need to do is take a look at your wall mount. Mine happens to already be attached. Yours may or may not be. Uh, but these pieces here, these long pieces, will actually come off of this thing and attach to the TV. And then we'll bring the whole TV over and hook it up to here. Here's a quick tip. If you want your TV to be centered in this space, take a look at your brackets. Uh, my brackets are actually centered. My space here is 24 inches. And basically right there is 12 inches. So I want to make sure when I screw this to the back of my TV that, that basically that center point there is in about the center of my TV. There's some adjustment bars or adjustment holes here that allow you to adjust that a little bit. That way when you put it up here, it'll all line up. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this first one screwed on here. Um, it's going to fit on like this. You want to make sure you measure that adjustment. This TV from top to bottom is basically 23 inches. Um, 
maybe 22. So somewhere right around this mark is where that needs to be. I'm going to get the first bolt in here. Just get it locked in. And then kind of see what works best up here. There we go. Easy. Okay, the next step is to get this TV hoisted up. And if you look, the top of this has little hooks right there. I'll give you a close-up of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to pick this TV up, move it over, and hook it on the top of this railing. And that's what we'll hook it in. All right, so I'm about to hook this on. If this helps you in any way, go ahead and click that subscribe button for me. I would genuinely appreciate it. It would help me out and help my channel out. That looks like that's hooked in there. I'll give you a little close up this of this in a second. So there you go. You can see how that's all hooked on. And now I have to go down here underneath and tighten up some screws uh, right there that will lock this thing into place. All right, so I'm tightening it down in the back to make sure that this thing isn't gonna come off, but I'm not tightening it all the way. Once I have it finished locked down here, what I'm going to do is push this back up against the wall so I can adjust it left to right and make sure the thing, and make sure it's centered. How's that look? Let me see. It's close. Okay, I'm going to adjust it a little bit more, and I'll get it all nice and even. Hey, so if this has helped you at all, go ahead and click subscribe for me. While I'm waiting for this to download and update my smart TV, why don't you check out these other videos? Uh, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, everybody. See ya.